That concern has been expressed by politicians at the most senior level and they will know what the true situation is. They will have been briefed and they will have briefed each other on Privy Council terms. So I think that that is the fairest indication that we can give to our viewers both here and around the world at this stage that there is, as we keep saying, there is profound concern, there is deep concern. Uh, but at this stage we do not have any further news from Buckingham Palace. Um, Nick, we're just looking at these uh, images here because, of course, um, they are really reflecting people's deep alarm and deep concern about the fact that um, the Queen is extremely unwell um, and, of course, that we are expecting the news from Balmoral that she's having uh, treatment or that, indeed, they are unable to help Her Majesty anymore. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The palace has just issued uh, this statement. It says the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Within the past few minutes, Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To recap on the statement, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King, that is Charles, uh, and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Her Majesty was 96 years old. She became Queen on the 6th of February, 1952, on the death of her father, King George VI. She heard the news while staying at a game lodge in Kenya at the age of 25, and her coronation in Westminster Abbey was watched by more than 20 million people. She was uh, married to Prince Philip for 73 years until his death in April of 2021. And Charles, their first child, was born in 1948. Uh, he now becomes the new king. In 2015, Her Majesty passed Queen Victoria to become the longest reigning monarch in British history. And in February 2022, we saw the 70th anniversary of her becoming queen. And she made more than 250 visits to Commonwealth countries, and was head of state in Australia and Canada and New Zealand. Winston Churchill was Britain's Prime Minister when she came to the throne, and Liz Truss was a 15th Prime Minister. The BBC is interrupting its normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen.
This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. The death of Her Majesty brings to an end the longest reign in British history, spanning eight decades of immense change.